Hi everyone, we're going to talk about Pennsylvania today, which I love this state. I was there last year in the summer, and I'm not sure if I'll get to go there this summer, but hopefully I will. Uh, so let's look at some of the pictures. So these are the Poconos Mountains, and they are a popular vacation destination. Now that is Falling Water. It's a house designed by famous American architect, Frank Lloyd Wright. So his architecture is very interesting, I guess. That is something to be seen. I haven't seen it myself. There is their flag. And here are the state symbols whenever they want to load. There you are. Okay, there's state flowers, the mountain laurel, state bird, reft grouse, state animals, white-tailed deer, and then there's the state quarter. All right. So, fast facts on Pennsylvania. The nickname is the Keystone State. Statehood, 1787, it's the second state. Population, 12,784,227 people as of July 2016. Capital is Harrisburg, biggest city is Philadelphia. The abbreviation is PA, like PA. State bird, ruffed grouse, and state flower, mountain laurel. History. Archaeologists don't agree on when the first humans came to the area we now call Pennsylvania, but they found artifacts that are at least 19,400 years old. Native American tribes, including the Lenape, Susquehannocks, Erie, Seneca, and Oneida, lived on the land that's now Pennsylvania thousands of years later. In 1681, Englishman William Penn, a member of a Christian group called the Quakers, founded the British colony of Pennsylvania. Because Penn's colony offered settlers religious freedom, it attracted people of other denominations. A wave of German immigrants, including Quakers, Mennonites, and Amish, moved to the area. These settlers eventually developed their own dialect, and their descendants are now called the Pennsylvania Dutch. The French and English fought for control of the land during the French and Indian War, which lasted from 1754 to 1763. The English won but ended up in debt from the fighting. To make back the money, they taxed the colonists, something many people didn't think was fair. Anger over this action helped lead to the Revolutionary War, which started in 1775. In 1775, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania held the Second Continental Congress. This was when representatives from each of the colonies met for the second time after deciding to go to war with Britain. And it was during this time that Thomas Jefferson drafted the Declaration of Independence. We just talked about that. That same year, George Washington led the colonial forces known as the Continental Army across the Delaware River and to an important victory in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. In 1787, after the war ended, Pennsylvania became the second U.S. state. Pennsylvania supported the Union during the Civil War. One of the most important battles took place at Gettysburg. Pennsylvania in 1863, the Union won the battle, marking a turning point toward eventual victory in the war. Why is it called that? Pennsylvania is a combination of Latin words that together mean Penn's Woods. The name was created by William Penn to honor his father. Some think Pennsylvania's nickname comes from its central location among the 13 colonies. So here's the flag and the state symbols again. Geography and landform. So on the map, Pennsylvania is on the east coast, one of the 13 colonies on this edge. So it's a good sized state. Pennsylvania is bordered by New York and Lake Erie in the north. New York and New Jersey in the east over here. Delaware, Maryland, and West Virginia in the south. 
in West Virginia and Ohio in the West. Right over there. The land can be divided into six regions. The Atlantic Coastal Plain province in the extreme southeast is a flat, low region with narrow valleys that were cut by streams. It contains Tinicum Marsh, first urban wildlife refuge in the United States. West of the Atlantic Coastal Plain is the Piedmont province with rolling hills, ridges, tower-shaped rocks, caves, and sinkholes. The New England province is northeast of the Piedmont province and contains steeply sloped hills and ridges. Farther west is the Ridge and Valley province, which contains part of the Appalachian Mountains. About half of the region is forested. The Appalachian Plateaus province sweeps across the central and western part of the state. It's a heavily forested area that includes Allegheny National Forest and the Pocono and Catskill Mountains, which I've been through there. The central lowland province is in the extreme northeast and has low ridges that were created by glaciers. Wildlife. Pennsylvania's mammals include black bears, elk, red foxes, and white-tailed deer. Golden eagles, peregrine falcons, and red-headed woodpeckers fly overhead while reptiles such as eastern spiny soft-shell turtles, northern coal skinks, and venomous eastern massasauga rattlesnakes creep and slither on land. Ugh. Pennsylvania is also home to amphibians such as Allegheny Mountain dusky salamanders and valley and ridge salamanders. With more than half the state covered in forests, Pennsylvania has a wide variety of trees, including eastern white pine, red maple, sycamore, and eastern hemlock, the state tree. Wild bergamot, wild bleeding heart, black-eyed Susan, and pen gift crown vetch are among the state's many wildflowers. Natural resources. Pennsylvania is one of the top states for coal mining. It also has the largest reserve anthracite coal, a very hard, pure variety in the nation. Fun stuff. Washington Crossing State Park is where George Washington led his troops across the Delaware River and sprang a successful sneak attack during the Revolutionary War. Actually coming up close to that in history. And if I get to go this summer, that is one of the parks I will get to go to, which I am so excited because I haven't been yet. The state's many famous folks include James Buchanan, who was America's 15th president and the only U.S. president born in Pennsylvania. Impressionist painter Mary Cassatt, flag maker Betsy Ross, author Louisa May Alcott. Yay! Which, um, yeah, I'm a big fan. Little Women, in case you forgot. She's the author of Little Women. And pioneer Daniel Boone. You probably have heard of him. Pennsylvania is known for handmade pretzels, which were originally brought by German settlers, whoopie pies, and Philly cheesesteaks. All of those things are delicious. This state is officially a commonwealth, an old term that refers to the common weal or well-being of the public. And yay, there's a bird video! Hopefully it will play a little better than uh, organs from yesterday. So M.C. Carlton, the rough grouse, flies what Barry the bald eagle around the historic state of Pennsylvania. Its biggest city at Philadelphia was once the capital of the United States. The two birds fly to the Alleghenies, the Appalachians, and the Poconos, all mountain ranges in a state that's full of history and natural wonders. It's a pretty great state. It's beautiful and historical. I cannot argue with that, so you should definitely go visit. Let's see if this will play. Hey, yo! I'm DJ Pigeon, and I'd like to introduce y'all to our national bird. Make some noise for Barry. Mm. Barry the bald eagle, our state by state. Hold on, guys. I am going to pause real quick. For Barry the bald eagle. Our state by state chauffeur. That's right. Right, y'all. What up? What up? Let's head on over to the key. All right. This isn't going to work, guys. Sorry. I don't want to waste your time. If you just want to go to it yourself, I think my internet isn't being my friend right now. 
with um, playing these videos. So anyway, if you want to go to the website, you can check out the video and it's always fun. And then I will be back for the 50 States book and show you all that. And yeah, that's basically it. So hope you learned some more about Pennsylvania and that you'll want to go there sometime soon. All right. See you later.